Welcome to the announcements of the 2021 4-H State Hepology Contest results. My name is Deborah Hagstrom and I'm the Equine Extension Specialist with the University of Illinois and the Department of Animal Sciences, part of the College of ACES. I am pleased to announce the results of the April 17th 4-H State Hepology Contest. Before we get started though, I would like to give thanks to the individuals that were so essential as volunteers in making this year's contest a big success. That includes Allison Huff, Carrie Huff, Molly McGee, and Natalie Shaw. These four 4-Hers routinely help with the state contest, but especially this year with these unique circumstances, their help was very much appreciated. So thanks ladies for always being a part of the state contest. Additionally, I would like to thank the groups that allowed us to have the event at their facilities. This includes the St. Joseph American Legion, post number 634, and the St. Joseph Masonic Lodge, number 970. Thank you for graciously opening your doors to this event at the last minute. Without your support, we definitely would not have been able to have this contest in person. So now on to the results that I know everybody is so eager for. We award ribbons to the top 10 individuals in each age division, and I will start with the junior division, which had 18 participants. Coming in in 10th place from Rock Island County, we have Alexander Sear. In 9th place is Rylan Holman from Knox County. Our 8th high individual is Caitlin Ritter from McLean County. Finishing in seventh, we have Bailey Callahan from Rock Island County. And in sixth place is Eleanor Hooper from DeKalb County. Our fifth high individual is Paige Coach from Monroe County. And in fourth place is Sawyer Stockton from Ogle County. Finishing third from Kendall County is Alexis Modoff. And our reserve high individual for junior hippology for 2021 receiving a red ribbon comes from Rock Island County and that is Emma Steiger. Which brings us to our champion junior hippology individual for 2021 receiving the blue ribbon and a trophy plaque representing Bureau County. Congratulations to Peyton Frew and congratulations to all the junior ribbon winners. Moving to the intermediate division where there were 26 participants, finishing in 10th place from Logan County is Christina Moreau. In 9th is Abigail Schmidt from Carroll County. Finishing 8th is Elizabeth Ellis from McLean County. And in 7th, is Knox County 4-H'er Grant Alexander. Placing sixth, also from Knox County, is Alice Rogers. Our fifth high intermediate participant is from Saline County, and that's Hannah Wenzel. Coming in fourth is Michaela Persico from Kendall County. And in third, representing Monroe, is Shelby Bove. With our reserve high intermediate individual receiving a red ribbon coming from Carroll County, and that is Allison Burrs. Our intermediate state hippology high individual receiving the championship blue ribbon and the trophy plaque representing Whiteside County, we have Talissa Thomas. Congratulations, Talissa, and all the 10, 10 ribbon winners. Moving on to the senior division, in this division, participants are competing for a place on the state hippology team that represents Illinois 4-H at the national contest in Louisville, Kentucky every November. There were 15 participants and the top five individuals are the finalists for the running for the state team. In 10th place from Champaign County is Delaney Smith. Finishing in ninth, is Avi Counts from Pope County. Our eighth high senior from Livingston County is Vivian Pratt. And in seventh, we have Natalie Johnson from Ogle County. 
earning a sixth place ribbon from Jasper County is Alex Osborne. Placing fifth, representing Carroll County, is Lauren Burrs. Our fourth high senior is Taya Thomas from Whiteside County. And in third, from Mercer County, we have Desiree Reed. Our reserve high individual receiving the blue or the red ribbon represents Logan County, and that is Ruthie Rule. And that brings us to our 2021 Senior Hipology State High Individual representing Carroll County, and that is Olivia Charles. Congratulations to these five who are now the National Contest Team Finalists, and congratulations to all 10 ribbon winners in the Senior Division. Congratulations to all who qualified and participated in the State 4-H contest. It was a pleasure to have you in person at the contest last Saturday, and we sure do hope to see you again next year.